and welcome back to Truth Be Told Transformations. At this time, we're going to cleanse some energy and call in Archangel Michael of the Highest Love and Light to receive this act of divination. This is going to be a love reading. Pick a card, okay? Um, we cast out all false messages and all false light from my readings, the awareness, the energy. We call upon the violet flame of Saint Germain to transmute any lower vibrational energies into the highest octave for the highest good, greatest good of all. This reading intention is for the greatest good of all. We also call upon Archangel Raphael, the highest love and light, to assist in any healing needs to be transmitted. And at this time, I call upon my ancestors, the highest love and light, my spirit guides, the highest love and light, and to the masters, the highest love and light, that wish to assist me. In this reading, thank you for the clear, concise, easy to interpret messages. I thank you for allowing me to be a divine healer and reader for this collective. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so good. So, pick a card. We need three cards. So pick a pot, pick a card. Three piles. Card number one. Number two, number three. Okay. So card pile number one, you have the clock. It says needs time, takes time, and time cycles time to heal and progress. Remember I had dental work done, so I hope you guys can understand me, okay? Pile number two, not enough. You're feeling not enough in a situation with love. Um, frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, um, fear of letting go of issues and jealousy card number or power number three years is cupid's arrow so you may want to pick more than one okay so again pile number one the clock pile number two not enough pile number three cupid's arrow we'll start this at 212 hi pile number one welcome to your message this is a love reading general love reading whatever comes out okay so you have the clock Right. Hold on, let me write these down real quick. Clock. Not enough. Keep it there so I can put the rest of them back in. Alright. Actually, I'm just going to set these aside. Alright. Why is the clock here? Pile number one, energy of pile number one, love reading, please. Love call, wedding ring. So what I'm feeling here is spirit wants you to be patient because soon you're going to get a message from the person that you're supposed to be with, that you're going to marry or be with forever, like you're one, even if you've been married before, okay? It's an all in divine timing is what I'm picking up on here. Pile number one, please. Any more messages? We've got several different decks here. Some of you may be in a, have recently ended a relationship, or you may be single, or there's an, one's coming to an end. It could have been because of an empath narcissist paradigm. So in the past, you could have been with a narcissist. Somebody may have charmed you or used you. Spirits wanting you to learn how to set clear boundaries. I feel like some of you uh, have learned that lesson, and that's why as you heal taking time to heal soon you're gonna like get this call this person okay kisses is here so this is unconditional love giving and receiving affection falling in love so it's coming in divine timing okay we're gonna check into some more energy here i'm just gonna kind of set these to the side we'll see what signs you could be dealing with as well for me as angels, what's the message here, please, for pile number one? You have, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I feel like this is working on your partnership with yourself. Some of you here may need to make an effort in a relationship. Remember to only take the messages that resonate with you, okay? This is to confirm what you may already know, your intuition. Um, flip and switch genders as you see fit. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So for some of you, something may have ended with someone in the past and it was a codependent relationship. 
All right. So there could be addictions affecting your romantic love life. Even an addiction of that energy. Addictions come in all forms, okay? There was a snake around, but this could be true love. Somebody, I feel the energy of someone going to rehab or healing an actual addiction or drinking or situation or doing the work on themselves. Um, for some of you, there may have been a situation in the past and you had some healing that needed to be done and someone's coming back in to give you a new chance, okay? To give this relationship another chance here. All right, we do have... several different decks to pick from here. Pile number one. Messages, pile number one. Okay. Pile number one, someone has a secret crush on you. Or you have a secret crush. Um, you may get a message soon about where this you gain clarity on the truth of this crush or you could message the person you're crushing on. You may feel like you're not good enough because maybe this person makes uh, more money than you or f you're having money issues, but I feel like things are going to get better here in the near future. There is a snake around your energy you do need to be aware of. For some of you, this is someone from the past that feels like they have unfinished business. I feel like um, you need to be aware. Someone else could, this person from the past, this is a narcissist I do feel the energy of. Someone um, may message you and act like a crush okay it could be online i feel like they're watching your profiles so just be aware of that but i feel like you have someone new coming in don't fear this know that you have learned i feel like you've learned a lot of lessons through this narcissistic and past paradigm and i feel like um soon you will know why everything happened the way it did if that makes any sense okay we're gonna use the um Tears of light back just to get yeah you there may be some there may have been a lot of arguments in this relationship okay of the past or you could currently be going through this put it where it resonates in your story you're being called to take time to rest and relax and heal okay you might resonate with some, some of my past messages yeah someone so this cycle is completely closing out. Even if you haven't been with this person in a while, I feel like the energy is finally closing out. This person has stabbed you in the back more than once. I feel like you've had a lot of people stab you in the back and you're choosing to walk away or you have already walked away in the past. Spirit may have plucked you up out of troubled waters to take you to calmer waters or this is what's going to happen here in the near future. Put it where it resonates in your story. Pile number one, please. Leo energy. Be strong. You are so brave. You're so resilient. You're so much stronger than what you give yourself credit for. And know that you are protected from this person's or any enemy attacks, okay? Shield yourself in white light protection, okay? Keep up clear energy. You're being called to, you may get an unexpected message or a message from someone that has a crush on you. I feel like somebody is being finally got into you. But I feel like you might worry that this might be the person from the past. So, leaning on your intuition to make this decision. I see you taking action or having a decision or somebody, this person is, you or this person is going to take action and message the other. There's a King of Wands energy here. I do feel, um, could be Aries, Leo, Sag, don't have to be. They're going to make a love offer here. I feel like you're going to have the past come in, someone who's like the past, and you're, from what you've been through, you'll pick up on the energy. How are they acting? Okay, you're being guided to remain grounded, Sagittarian energy here. This person may just want to come in and hook up, okay, for some of you, or there's a lot of passion here. This person sees you as, there is someone coming in, though, that there's going to be a lot of passion between you. They see you as a good parent. Um, you are have deep, strong psychic gifts. I feel like this is going to happen very quickly. So when the past calls, I'm hearing... Be careful of answering because there's a snake. This person from the past wants to hold on tightly to you so this new person can't come back in. But 
by choosing to move on further to the future you're breaking an ancestral curse so this is a past life thing you've been through so much i feel like you and this new partner are going to come together and create generational wealth okay like you're combined with your spiritual gifts your essence just who you are you're going to build a strong bond like you're going to take the time and build a solid foundation you're ascending to new levels and you're master manifesting this we have gemini energy here as well pisces cancer pisces scorpio pretty much all signs on my board all pulls and signs yeah you're meant to be seen you're meant to be heard you will be in the spotlight you're meant to be a leader this person's going to put you up on a pedestal however the the this devil wants to get deeply into your energy to keep you from stepping into this empress energy even if you're a masculine to keep you from coming to balance we all have masculine and feminine energy to keep you from giving birth to your dreams because you're meant to be successful okay so the shadow energy is guided capricorn energy doesn't have to be a capricorn is guided at towards your light all right so it wants to make you self-sabotage or give up on this wish fulfillment of this true love that you deserve but i feel like this true love is coming in very quickly you're headed to the high priestess energy high priest this is in the essence of all four kings all four queens in the deck okay listen to your gut it will never see you wrong this is a, a lesson on trusting your intuition you're be you're self-made you have balance coming here gemini libra aquarius energy speaking your truth setting clear boundaries will help you come into this partnership the choice is yours of what you choose to put up with and choose not to put up with okay um i'm going to get some more details here for you i've got several different decks out here like i said let's get we will get some messages from this past person here Remember, signs are just energy. What does this person need to heal to come into union with the one? Or what should they be working on with their healing? What should pile number one be working with with healing? Temptation? Yes. How teachable are you? Do you listen to other to are you teachable? You need to look at that. And unleash your creativity, okay? You will be tempted, all right? So remember the lessons that you've learned up till now. Some of you may be moving to a new home or you're finding the light within, the home within you. You're filling up a hole in your soul with this new light energy as well. Okay? Pile number one, let's see what else we can find out here. Someone may be closed off or you may be closed off and you're because you're so guarded. Fear wants you to be open and go with the flow. And have courage to take action in this certain situation or you know, in following your dreams. I feel like a lot of you are going to meet this person doing what you love to do. It could be a hobby. It could be sharing your gifts. Okay. Yes, you have a, um, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you or them could be this sign. You have a brand new beginning and it's very fruitful. Um, but somebody here is having isolating thoughts. This could be you that like you're alone. Remember that you can call in your spirit team and your soul family's coming in. Some of you um, have had issues with your birth family and this is because they're karmic, okay? It's time that you release this past energy of lack and suffering and be open to receive this new divine partner. You, so your spark is about to be renewed deep within this could be um this is a past life energy that i'm speaking of so be open to receive and because you're about to celebrate with gifts of abundance and love and luck is what i just heard but the decision is yours when the snake comes back don't let them charm you okay you might need to do a cord cutting or clearing as well um reiki helps with that you can do your own like um, ritual. Someone here is very cold and detached. This could be your energy. Yeah, take action for these new, have the courage to take action and create these new beginnings, okay? You're going through a huge transformation and you're releasing yourself from toxic 
patterns and chains. This new love coming in is right around the corner. Um, start speaking positive affirmations to yourself. You're releasing vanity and being overly prideful, or maybe this person coming in is. Somebody, the past is watching you, with, but they're going to be forced to take their false mask off. You need, the more, there's going to be a lot of chemistry here, and the more love you nurture, the more you nurture and love yourself and date yourself, it creates this energy and draws this true counterpart in here, okay? Um, I'm trying. Okay, so let's see what Sorry. Let me see. Before we get signs from this, we can do that. Yeah. I should have done this at the beginning. I'm sorry. Let's see what um, sign you could be dealing with or they could be your highly affected in their chart. Signs, please. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Remember, it could be the past or the you or the future. Aquarius, Cancer. You or them, so Cancer is double here, so for a lot of you it could be a Cancer or Libra. I feel like you're going to get justice from someone from the past as well that treated you unfairly. Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be Virgo, you or them. After we get some um, guidance here, we will get, let's get some messages, we'll get some initials and see if I can, okay. What's the hidden truth? What's messages from this past person? Okay. Thank you, spirit. I can't do this. This one fell over too. I find you so attractive. I won't let you down. I still feel the pain. We don't share the same values. I feel so drawn to you. I can't reach out. I know you don't feel the same. So this person from the past knows that you're just, I'm feeling you're just done with this energy and their trickery and lies and deception, okay? Um, of course, I only take that if it resonates. I know this is a little bit kind of here and there and may feel a little chaotic. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. Guidance from the Love Oracles. Love Oracle guidance, please. I already I pre shuffled these. Plume Flame, your passion ignites. Okay, so I feel like the past was a, kar a karmic false twin that you really thought was your twin. Be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire and, and one another are also qualities you both possess as within, so without, right? Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection, so that's some healing that needs done. Your sacred union is coming soon. It's right around the corner. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. Um, so your sacred union with your true twin. I am going to do a pick a card for twin flames here in the near future. So it will be something you want to look out for. Pile number one, you may also feel drawn to another pile, and that's okay. It could all give you energy, more energy on the past or this new person if you feel drawn. Just take what resonates with it doesn't. Archangel Michael, what's your guidance for pile number one, please? Guidance for pile number one. Pay attention to your dreams. So you need to keep a dream diary or record. Write down what you see, what you remember. Look up the spiritual meaning. Decide to be happy now. Don't live in the past. Live in the pre or the future. Live in the present. You are guarded and protected, so this person cannot come in and hurt you anymore. And prayer will help the situation. All right. So let's get you some initials. Could be a you or them. Could be a B or an N. Can I get some initials or any important words for pile number one? A. You or them could be an A, have an A in your name. AP, your sacral chakra may need some work. You or them, initial B, N, throat chakra, and third eye needs some work. The letter N, the letter D. Someone wants you to feel bad or think that you are bad, okay? You may be getting a new pad soon, a new home, okay? The letter G, you might be getting a new dog. The letter S, A, the name Sam. 
Okay. You're about to go get your word on get you're about to get your bag. The name Emily. M E E. Someone's gossiping about you and the truth is about to come out. This mask is about to come off this past false person. The name Meg may be significant. The name I said Sam. Mace or Macy. The name Ben. Another E. Spirit. Spirit wants you to see this person from the past for who they who they truly are. You have a kind heart and you see the good in everybody, but it's time that you lean into your intuition and listen. You could be from Virginia, don't have to be, or the Virgin Islands. Um, I'm hearing like a virgin, so like I feel like this love is going to be like you've never been with anybody else, including the spicy part, okay? You could be from Pennsylvania, British, Britain. The letter R, F, and E, and O. Okay. Geese could be significant, or a goose. N. I'm hearing refuse this person. Refuse to lower your bound, your, uh, refuse to lower your boundaries and refuse to lower your standards, okay? This past person is just really trying to get back in your energy. Some of you need to do core cutting. Some of you have men is here. This false, somebody here could be pretending or like could really, could be like hiding their sexuality. I am picking up on this. Um, the name Sage could be significant. Someone here may need to smudge, cleanse, okay? I feel like somebody, I'm feeling um, somebody could be uh, in that, like need recovery. Like they lied and said that it was all you and like um, somebody needs to go to rehab, get help. Um, remember, this is for entertainment purposes only and to confirm what you're, you already know intuitively. So thank you, pile number one. Hello, pile number two. All right, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Spirit, please clear the energy of the past reading. Alright. So you had not enough. Right? Pile number two. You had not enough. Thank you. Before I move any further, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently than pile number two. All right, we're going to um, first tap into what sign? What signs could pile number two be dealing with? Fewer of them are highly aspected in their chart. Okay, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, maybe getting some type of justice, Pisces energy. You need to remain grounded. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Taurus, as well as Aquarius, double Aquarius, okay? That would be your sign or their sign, okay? Remember, you know your story best. This is to help confirm what your inter your intuition already knows. I have to say, legally, this is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Um, let's see what initials you could be dealing with. Let me pick up on some channeled. I'll do this one at the end, Spirit. Okay, Spirit. We'll do that towards the end. Alright, let's tap into what um, energy or what may, may need to be healed here or what spirits wanting to bring to your attention. Pile number two, please. Message is pile number two. Somebody may have sold you out, somebody from the past, and that's why you feel like you're not enough. It could have been a parent. Um, it could have been somebody that spread your videos or pictures around, and it gave you a hole in your soul, but I feel like you, some of you have done the work. Some of you, this is from your childhood. I am picking up on an um, SA trigger warning. Okay, so this makes you, your inner child feel rejected and you need to express your sexuality in a safe way and tap into that sacred feminine energy or masculine energy. I feel it will help you. I, I feel, do feel like I'm talking to a feminine or a masculine and a feminine energy. We all have both. 
okay? I feel like you learn a lot from this situation. Um, you may want to watch pile number one as well. I do feel that energy for you. Actually, all three may um, resonate with you. Please hit like if this so far is um, resonating or if you want to claim this reading, okay? Releasing this feeling from not being enough and I'm going to be open to receive the love that you deserve. Not enough, pile number two. Not enough, pile number two. Oh, jeez. Okay. Sunglasses. So, you might act, people might think, or you might put on this facade, or this mask that you are confident, or more confident than you are. Somebody from the past is, is watching you, They have, or you have been stalked, they may have gaslighted you. Okay, so I feel like you've hidden yourself. Spirit's wanting you to know that things are about to come to light and the truth about this person with the dragonfly. Seeing a picture of a dragonfly or a video or one in your reality's confirmation of this reading. Thing, you've really been doing the work to adapt, change, and heal to your inner child and whatever this is that happened in your adult, possibly from an ex. But the truth is going to come out about this person. There's been a lot of talk, gossip, lies. Um... But yet you've stood strong, okay? You will receive what you need. Divine timing is at play here. I feel like this is going to be in a short time. You, As you release this outdated thinking and choose to heal these energies, you have a love that's going to end in a wedding, okay? And abundance and prosperity in all forms. Spirit's wanting you to keep a positive mindset, which will help you... Um, manifest exactly what you want and give gratitude daily and be happy find that childlike energy right name three things you're thankful for at least every day and if you can at night too it will help this new energy come in you are so special and you are so strong you need to look at how far you've come okay and don't be afraid to get therapy if you need it holy angels spirit or angels what's the message Okay, I feel like um, there's a past life energy here. Meeting this new person is definitely from your past life. I feel like this recent person, if you did date somebody who was put you down and, and like was abusive and things, I feel like that plays to your past life as well as your, these family issues if you've been going through any. Know that your love life benefits when you forgive your parents. I mean, you do need to do that. Even if you don't have a relationship with them, that's okay. Um, but this new person, they're from your past life. But Spirit wants you to know, in order for them to come in, you have to love yourself first. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Truly date yourself. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. Set clear boundaries. Start with family and friends, and then work on to when you start dating. There's going to be a lot of playfulness in this love here that's going to end in marriage. You're, you're going to feel like you're always on a honeymoon. They're going to help bring out your inner child, and help. you're going to heal each other's inner child. Yeah, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you can experience more love in your present moment. Spirit, your permanent angels are wanting you to know that. Put so some more energy out here on my board. We'll tap into the hidden truth as well, okay? There may be a fear that you'll repeat the same mistake as you did in your past. Because um, uh, you've been through so, so much. Like, But know that divine timing is at play here, okay? Pile number two. Okay, someone from the past is coming in. That's a snake. Okay, they need, the truth is, is, that, is that they need money. All right. They are not doing as well as they pretend they're doing. Um, they want to come in and take, take money from you. Um, there may be a place you're, you feel like you need to go visit or travel to, and it's because it's going to help you with another part of your spiritual awakening journey. You, you're going through a huge rebirth, okay? And it's gonna, there's an unexpected new love that's gonna, it's gonna be like you might just start hanging out as friends, or you might hook up, whatever. It's gonna lead, lead to a, a unexpected relationship. You have to surrender completely to the divine. 
let go, release, go with the flow, okay, and have patience, because this is happening in divine time, don't just take, don't just date just anybody that comes to your door, okay, right, so you, you've been doing a lot of healing work, or maybe you need to, you, your wounds are healing, you're on the mending, rest and relaxation is needed, you, I feel like you are a healer, or you could be, some of you may meet this person on social media, especially if you're like a healer, or you share any content, or do anything like that, or in any group, that's for some of you, others of you will meet them when you're out and about, someone is spying on social media, I'm hearing for you to just be you, some of you may be networking to meet this person, this um, is divinely orchestrated, they're being divinely guided to you, there will be a magnetic attraction here, like you're going to seem irresistible to one another, um, but the past is going to try to tempt you, alright, but this situation is going to, this new relationship, new love is going to end in a wedding, all right, this is the one, this is your divine counterpart, your divine union, your divine spouse, so take the chance on waiting for this love, and loving yourself, and truly pouring into yourself, okay, let me get some more information here, can I get some more guidance here, tell me more about this, Call number two messages. Yeah. So, Mars is <laughs> making you super hot and attractive. You may, you're kind of having a glow up is what I'm hearing. Be aware of uh, other people projecting onto you at this time. It may be something with you and yourself that you need to heal from your childhood. You're releasing yourself from toxicity and toxic patterns. You're releasing yourself from isolating thoughts. Your spirit guides are assisting in this. Um, somebody may come in and apologize. It's okay to forgive them. It doesn't mean you have to talk to them or be in their energy. Um, I feel like somebody may pretend that they changed that they haven't. That's not for everybody. So for very few of you, somebody has really done the work to change. You're about to reap your harvest. And part of this harvest is money. But all other part of it is um, a new romantic situation it could be can Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you or them. Your spirit guides are in assisting you in integrating your divine feminine, your divine masculine, becoming whole within self for you to have this divine union. Pay attention to your dreams. Write down the symbols, the messages, or record your voice talking about it. Anything you remember from it, look up the spiritual meetings, possibly even the Jamantra. Yeah, you have two huge beginnings. You're coming out of your south node into your north node. Like, this is huge energy here. Congratulations. Um... It was 32, 32 on the clock when I looked up. Yeah. So, there's an old situation that is completely going to close out. I'm hearing that the people are going to know the truth about this past person or partner. Um, like, yeah. Two of Cups came out. So, the choice is yours to truly love yourself. Tell me more. Okay. So, what I'm seeing is this person from the past hurt you so, so much, and I'm hearing the song, I tear my heart open, I send my social, you're, the reason is, is I care too much, so you're definitely an empath, I feel like you're gonna, um, you're having trouble making a decision, or you feel like you can't, you need to trust your intuition more, because like, notice how this person's blind, and the, she can pay attention to your surroundings, okay, this person did, from your past did not see you as the blessing, um, I feel like you're not, you need to take note, yeah, this person's in there, deeply in their head, full of depression, anxiety, I do feel for some of them, there are many addictions here, people are, maybe, you may feel like people are wanting to argue or fight with you, I feel like this is all a part of your initiation, Spirit's telling you to take a leap of faith and trust into the unknown that you are protected, yeah, um, lay, surrender, lay your burdens down, trust spirit, live in the present, this new person, there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that wants to hold on tightly to you to keep you from getting this new beginning, or they could be any sign, but I do feel like you have somebody coming in who's emotionally mature, that's going to be equally yoked to you, yes, double Cancer energy here, this person is coming in, that's going to, like, the happiest card in the deck, it's going to end in marriage, they're right around the corner, you've manifested this, write down exactly what you want into detail now know that it might not match this exactly but that's why you want to get detail i feel like this person is going to be different in some way than what you expect them to be okay so if you're having tower moments or things seem like shaky it's because 
things, all these faulty, faulty foundations are crumbling so you can restart on a very solid foundation. Yeah, it's going to be a surprise when this person comes in. You are not going to expect it. That's not a bad tower. All the faulty foundations are crumbling. Queen of Wands, this is going to be a very passionate, like, love. Um, rest and relaxation is what you need to do now to continue integrating the healing work that you have done or are doing. Balance, it'll help you attain balance and step into your high priestess energy, which is all four kings, all four queens, all in one. She's the most powerful manifester. She has wise ancient wisdom. She's tapped in, tuned in, and turned on the words of Abraham Hicks. Walking away from these people who do not treat you like treat you like you're nothing, do not see your value as essential, no matter who they are in your life, because a celebration is coming. And I feel like this person is going to be very grounded and stable, emotionally mature. Um, there are different signs for different ones of you guys. So some of you do want a message from this past person. So let me tap into that energy. Messages from past person, please. Do. For pile number two. This one popped out and went back in. They, I compare others to you. Those are messages from your past person. I trusted you. I feel like there's a lot of blame here. Um, like they are projecting. I would do it all again. You broke my heart. I watch your social media. I can't reach out. Okay. Um, we'll do the initials and channel words last here. Let's get some guidance from Archangel Michael and the Love Oracle. Shit. You've had cards fly out. Do you want to take these, Spirit? Yes. I feel like some of you had a false twin flame in the past that you thought was your twin. It was more of a sexual union. They were a karmic. Wait, don't rush. Allow nature to take its course. You have a sacred union coming in. Wait. A sacred union is its own its way. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. Be aware of what you're projecting, the qualities you admire in one another, are qualities you both possess equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This could be a twin flame coming in, your passion ignites. Look inside yourself, examine what's causing you to feel this way. Some of those did come out in the prior reading, but spirit looks like yes, read them. Messages, pile two. Okay, another one, thank you. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you, the path is clear if you want it to be, okay? Stop and forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. I'm hearing, like, maybe listening to subconscious, like, as you sleep, listening to um, meditations for, you could do them on love or healing, um, whatever you're wanting to draw in. They really do work, and um, also a trusted Reiki practitioner may be able to help you balance your energies to help help you um if you feel stuck or stagnant okay i'm hearing there is something that you once did when you, before like when you maybe as a kid or teenager when you were younger it was a hobby that you enjoyed that you no longer do and you've thought about doing it but you don't feel like you have time you need to make time it's going to help you express yourself it's going to help you um bring out a new creative like release a lot of stress and heal and just so many beautiful things okay all right, here's your messages from Archangel Michael before we get to the um, channel messages and initials. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. You need to make a commitment. Pay attention to your dreams. You and your loved ones are safe. Decide to be happy now. You have new beginnings and a fresh start. And keep your eyes on your targeted intention. And intentions are very important, even with your food. Like when you go to eat or drink, set the intention. Um, that this is going to be healing and nourishing for my body, mind, and soul, for example, okay? So be intentional about everything you do, everything you say, like, Spirit's really wanting us all to, um, harness that energy at this time. 39 and 4 on the clock. What initials or channel messages or words would you like to share with pile number 2, Spirit? I'm just going to, like, go ahead and get them all out here. You need to work on your um, throat chakra, third eye chakra, solar plexus, your sacral. Okay, let's see what we got here. You have a wish coming true with a blank card. Sac I told you all the chakras already, right? 
you have, hold on, Cooper could be a name, C-O-O-F, Coon, someone could like to Coon Hunt, um, or be a hunter, F-N, masculine to feminine, Coot, W, or, okay, I'm just going to read these off, just give me a second. Someone might bug you or have bugged you a lot or want to come in and bug you. Um, all right, we're just going to read these and then I'm going to try to see what I can spell from them. Usually I channel words from them sometimes. M, B, G. Somebody likes to run their gums a lot. You, somebody could like to chew gum. Somebody is a bum. Um, from your past, M, B, G, S, C. You could live in South Carolina. You could be from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm picking up one. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Florida, FPV, there's a private investigator, I feel like that is work, has been watching, you are this person, it's this person, I feel like they try to say you did stuff, but you didn't, they did it, that's for somebody, um, MT, WT, FN, O, C, O, this person could be going, somebody could be going to jail or prison from your past, because uh, correct your officer, um, and laying on a cot, COT, I don't know. They are a con, C-O-N, I feel like I heard caught up. Yeah. They feel like they'll never get caught. There be, might be night time when they get caught up because I'm seeing PM. I'm picking up on the name. I'm hearing Just, Justice. Could be the name Justin. Um, Matt. Scott. S-C-O-T, I'm seeing it here. Monty, Therese, Hope, Nope, somebody wears a very false face, face mask, there has a lot of masks up, mugshot, I don't know why I'm picking up on this energy, somebody is definitely about to, about to get caught up, Vermont, West Virginia, WB's here, Virginia, Filipino could be significant. South Carolina could be significant. Bush Gardens. I don't know why I said that. So I guess somebody could work there. Alright. I don't know why I picked up on what I did. But if it resonates with you, please let me know. Okay. Thank you, pile number um, two. Spirit, please clear the energy for pile number two while I put these up. If anybody would like a $25 personal reading, it's only for a limited time, whether it's for a 20, $25 donation, um, or actually a donated reading of any any type, just email me at truthbetoldtransformations at gmail.com. It has to be in a donation form, okay? All right. Pile number three. Cupid's arrow is here. Have faith. Love is coming. Okay. You may get a surprise invitation. You might hesitate when meeting this person. This person. I have to write down the start time. Sorry. 43, 22. Number. You could be 43 or 22. You were then. Pile number three. What's the message? Somebody likes you. Um, romance is blooming. You could be talking to this person. You could have been stabbed in the back a lot in the past. Somebody here, by somebody who is self indulgent. There could be a lot of gossip about you. People are irritated by your light. Spirit is saying, spend time with friends. You're moving on part of the past. You're, as you're happy <laughs> when you're like enjoying your happy self, right? This is when unexpectedly Cupid's air is going to strike and you're going to meet a soulmate that you're very passionate about. All right. Um, focus and work on your self worth and self appreciation, self love, love and date yourself. So you may need to do some extra shadow work because of this person that stabs you in the back. I feel like there's inner child, inner teenage wounds, young adult wounds that need to be healed. This could have also have something to do with family for some of you. Okay. 
your somebody that has the key to your heart is coming in. There may be a test from the past. You may want to watch um, the other two readings, honestly. I'm feeling that energy here. Um, we'll tap in and see what signs we could be dealing with here in a few minutes after we get through these here. Where is... Hold on. I'm looking for my sign cards. It's all over there. We'll go ahead and tap into the signs. What signs could pile number three be dealing with, please? Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you are them, uh, Pisces, or highly aspected in their chart, Earth, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer. So double Cancer, double Pisces. One more. Oh, they gave me two more. Libra and Aquarius. Okay? So this could be you are them, or it could even be the energy of the past person, but... I'm hearing don't don't lower your standards and um, accept something some don't it don't lower your standards and accept know what you're worthy of and be open to receive and accept it okay pile number three messages please pile number three holy spirit holy angels holy guys okay let your friends help you. You may meet this person through your friends, okay? It's okay to ask and for and ask for and accept support and help, guidance from others. They're going to lead you to this per trust the spirit and maybe using your friends, those closest to you, um, to lead you to the person that c this could that could be the one. This situation is calling for you to have the ultimate faith. It says you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. That's for some of you. You could already be talking to this person. This is definitely a past life relationship. You want to check out pile number one and two for more energy because I feel like these could all go together for some of you. So this new person, you may just now be getting to know them or getting to know them again. Like this could be somebody that you talked to like five or ten years ago where you met through somebody else and then you like lost contact, time went on, you guys live your lives and you come back together. Um, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. You will have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And Spirit's telling, reminding you to be honest. You will honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Anything else? Anything else in this deck? Okay. Be aware of codependency. Um, you or them could have been through an addiction. Addictions come in all forms. Everybody has an addiction. It could be being on the internet too long. It could be watching too many reels. It could be food. It could be money. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be watching too much porn, okay? No judgment here, but just be aware of codependency in relationships. Maybe work on healing that will help this uh, energy. That's just you or them or both of you, okay? Um, or that somebody here may want to take somebody back from the past they've already dated, but it was like a codependent energy. Make sure that you feel that first. So you're letting go of self-sabotage here, which will help you um, unleash your creativity. You are the phoenix rising. Spirit wants you to remember that the, the teacher is always the student. How teachable are you? Do you truly listen to what others, other, you know, like what resonates with you? Do you truly take the steps to try and do something new to learn the lesson? You're releasing victim consciousness, or there's a need to release this. Um, you're receiving help from above. You need to tap into your sacred sexuality. It's okay to have sex. It's okay to explore. I know some of us are made to think like it's dirty. You could have been like sexual. Somebody could have posted uh, trigger warning videos or pictures of you or to try to get to you. And so because of that, you may feel rejected. Um, you're releasing these negative emotions that I just mentioned and you're feeling them okay, which is not the easiest. I'm going to go ahead and get a message from this past person and get it out of the way. I just feel called to do that. Um, for those of you that do want to know about this past person, this is the hidden truth. Messages from this past person. I won't let you down. I hide my feelings. I miss hearing your voice. I feel so happy with you. Will you ever make things right? I see life differently now. I still feel the pain. We don't share the same values. Some of you don't share the same values. Some of you do. Um, some of you, this is a, just somebody that was a friend. Others of you, this was a past relationship um, that ended up in breakup. Okay. Only, I feel, you know your story best, okay? 
This is to confirm what you're in, what you're in your intuition. Yeah, someone still has a, addictions. They're going to say that they're clean and they change. So listen to your intuition, okay? This important message is pile number one. Or, sorry, pile number three. So you might want to watch pile number one because I said that for a reason. Someone could have ghosted you from the past. Um, I just saw ghosted. Right, they could have hooked up with you and left you. You need to read between the lines. They may want to have a lot of regret. Thought grass is greener and want to come in for new love. Um, maybe to live with you, build a home with you. Maybe you guys were supposed to move in together. But I feel like you're going to have a choice between this past person and somebody new, okay? Um, yeah, this was a toxic relationship. There's a snake in the grass here. And this person does feel there's unfinished business. So will you choose the new? Or are you going to go back to the past that has hurt you and lied to you and betrayed you? But your friends are going to introduce you to this new person. And I feel like they are the one. Okay? For some of you. Um, so just be aware of that. Like, I'm getting major like kids going, ew. Like, why are you all kissing and loving each other all the time? So it's a mystery. You're mysteriously going to bump into this person. All right. Be aware of illusions from the past at this time. I'm hearing. Can I get more information here, please? For pile number three. Pile number three. Oh, crap. That's too many, spirit. We have. Okay. So someone here, you're transcending your limit, past limitations. All the healing work you're doing, which is leading you to unity of self, which leads you to your true p divine partner. Somebody is coming in to apologize and forget. Uh, you can forgive them, but they don't mean it. It's a fake apology because it was in the reverse. They're having isolating thoughts, or this could be you. Tell me more about law number three. The spirit's guiding you to detach from this person. Um, you might want to even give them the cold shoulder. Don't let them get into your energy, okay? They may, somebody here may think that you could help them with getting custody of their children, um, or looking more stable, and that may be why, for, that's for some of you. The dog, shh, stop, somebody may be annoying. <laughs> this person is stuck in ego, vanity, and pride. They fear rejection, they feel lost, they're fragmented. You are releasing this from, as well. You need to be open to receive and be grateful for what you already have and stand in the present, not in the past, not in the future, but in the present, all right? And go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. You may put yourself in a timeout for some time. Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant, um, a lot of fiery and passionate energy. Some of you may meet this person for your union, doing something that you love to do or for your job or a way to make money. Your spirit guides are assisting and bringing in this new love. It's going to be very hot spicy, attractive, so take action on loving and dating yourself, you're about to gain clarity on this and find out justice is going to be served in some past things, people who deceived and hurt you, but you will be tempted to see if you've learned the lesson, remember it's not happening to you, it's happening for you, okay, so I'm really feeling you really need to move on to this new future person and leave the past in the past, um, like I said, this because it's just not, I don't feel like this is somebody you've dated, okay? For most of you, this is somebody that's totally new and fresh. All right, let's get some guidance here from Archangel Michael, and then we'll get some guidance from the love oracle. Archangel Michael, what's your guidance for number three? Pile number three. Make a commitment. Be gentle with yourself. Take the time to rest, relax, heal, do the shadow work, write in the journal. It takes time to integrate these. Feel your feelings. You have to feel it to heal it. Have a sense of humor. See the humor when people project. Find some, you know, watch funny movies. Like, look at things from a lighter side, from a higher perspective, a different eye. Know that you and your loved ones are safe. This is whoever these people were from the past, or this person that tried to harm you and hurt you cannot get to you. You're so protected. You have eternal love on the way. Your, angel, your, angel, your angels are assisting with this. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. So if you f people are acting out toward you, rejecting you, blaming you, it's projections. They're at a different part of their healing journey than you. And this is part of your initiation. And have self-respect for yourself. Write down a list of what you want in a relationship, what you're willing to accept and what you're not. Okay, what is this person, like your dream person? What do they do? What do they act like? How do they treat you? 
how do you treat them how does the, the relationship flow what kind of foundation is it built on so somebody that you may be wondering about i feel like they are kind of they are trustworthy okay all right let's get you some love oracle messages here And then we will get you some channel messages for pile number three. Thanks if you're still here. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit like, comment. It does get your em energy in my future readings. Let me know if you guys like these pickup piles better for the messages. Or if you want me to just continue doing it the way I was. What do you all want to see more of, less of? Well, what kind of content would you like to see? Only time will tell. Passion, a magnetic and sub seductive quality surround you present and joy. I hear somebody is stepping into their dark feminine era. They're coming into balance with that feminine um, uh, light aspect. The light and dark aspect of the femininity. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Sorry if I had a list where I sound funny. I had a lot of dental work done. My face is still swollen. Reflection. So it's time for you to reflect. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust to have faith that everything will work out for the best. So somebody here needs to reflect on the past. What, the, what all they've overcome and come through and done. Somebody may be in a relationship and you're trying too hard. Give it time. And you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing soon will be revealed. So if you've been going through a lot of hurt and pain and just a lot of shit happening, through this pain is you chose this and your soul contract to have these lessons and to go through these things, so that you would wake up and discover your true power, who you truly are on a soul level, okay? And so your gifts could come online and like you're about to get a huge blessing, okay? How, how I'm hearing, how bad do you want it? I'm hearing this all not too well. How do you want it? How does it feel? Growing up as a sinner, I don't know how it goes exactly. Um, you might want to watch, look up the song or the lyrics or listen to God Only Knows. I can't remember who sings it. The King something. The Beach Boys sang one too, but there's one by the King something. At, um, but like, you need to, uh, God knows what you've been through. Spirit knows what you've been through. Your spirit is in the universe, whatever you align or believe in. And you're so resilient, so very strong. Sometimes you're like, how much more stronger do I have to be? I feel like soon you're not gonna have to worry. You're gonna be able to do what you love and be at peace. And you, you've really tried, worked on yourself a lot. BH could be significant. Hubby, yeah. <laughs> YH being a blank, I, I, I felt hubby. So this person coming in, you could, you're gonna marry them. Um, you have a wish coming true or fill in the blank with a letter of your choice. Initials D or F or Divine Feminine. W, Z, Z, M, Divine Masculine. You need to work on your solar plexus chakra. It's unbalanced. The letter S could be significant. Could be an initial. S-O, I heard so what? I'm a rock star. I don't know. Pink could be significant, the color. Another blank card. Fill in the blank. Somebody could really like to wear t-shirts or dress comfortably. They could wear a tie. Your person could wear ties or, or like to dress up. Maybe they dress up for their, I heard somebody dresses up for their work. I feel like it's going to be unexpected. Wisconsin, Boston. Toby? I don't know. I got my toes in the water, ass in the sand. You're this person to meet at the beach or like to go to the beach. I'm hearing different songs. A, they like to have a good time and relax. They may like to sip on a drink occasionally. Heart shocker expansion. Ew. I don't think you, you may have once thought this person wasn't attractive or they wouldn't find you attractive. You didn't feel like you deserved this. Maybe you thought you weren't good enough, but you are. I feel like people didn't want you to know that you deserve this. D and U, wedding, W-E-D, it could happen on a Wednesday. H-R, they could work in human resources or it's hours away. 
A R to be A R E R. Are you ready? I just heard because I said A R E R D Y. Are you ready? We are ready. Spirit's ready to lead you to this person, to this situation. You're going to be so raw and vulnerable with each other. U W and A. They could work in the mind. United Mind Workers Association. The letter H could be significant. The letter L. Some of you can meet them when you move. Q and X, V and P. They could be, you could be a nurse. They could be a nurse. LPN. It could be an x-ray tech. They could be, I feel like somebody like is really jealous that you could pretty much get anybody you wanted. Um, and I feel like they project a lot and that caused you a lot of problems. This could be like a cousin or someone in your family. Or it could be a, fr a frenemy. I just heard. I don't know. Qatar could be. Guitar and Qatar, the place. Could be significant for some of you. Okay. So pile number three, that injured reading i hope that you gain some clarity yen can be significant as well like you could be china asian descent or another nationality from you um i hope this brought you some clarity um or helped you in some type of way please comment let me know below thank you guys so much for being here stopping in and joining me let me know below what types of readings or healings you'd like to see or content i love you all until we meet again